Hey guys, welcome back to Top 10 Gaming. I'm Ron McKenzie Lafergie. Sonic and Halo are two awesome franchises. I've spent many an hour playing both. But when comparing the two protagonists, Sonic definitely has some advantages over his cybernetically enhanced counterpart. To be clear, this isn't me saying Halo sucks. Heck, I've probably played more Halo than Sonic. I love it. But sometimes it's fun to compare some of my favorite characters. Just keep in mind that this list is incredibly subjective. If you disagree with any of this, let me know in the comments. Everyone has their own opinion. Now get ready, it's time for the the top 10 reasons why Sonic is better than Master Chief. Number 10. He's faster. I know this seems like a cop-out, and maybe it is, but Sonic's speed is just such a huge bonus. If he were to fight Master Chief, he could take the Chief out before he could even pull the trigger. Not only would his speed be beneficial in battle, but it lets him get around way quicker, not needing to rely on warthogs or vertebrates or anything. Take that, Chief. Number 9. He doesn't need guns to succeed. If you play Halo, you're no doubt familiar with Master Chief's love of weaponry. Whether he's using a pistol, a giant Spartan laser, or an energy sword, the vast majority of his fights involve weaponry. Sonic, on the other hand, rarely uses weapons other than the odd sword like in Black Knight. But he doesn't need weapons, because he fast. Number 8. He doesn't need armor. Yep, to go along with the last point, not only does Sonic rarely use weapons, but he rarely uses armor. Again, there are some exceptions, but in general, he's just his normal blue self. Master Chief goes in the complete opposite direction, where he pretty much never is without his armor. While Chief's armor is pretty cool and makes for a badass character, it's totally awesome that Sonic tends to fight pretty much nude other than shoes and gloves. Number 7. Sonic's Multi-Platform Those who saw our top 10 reasons why Sonic is better than Mario video will be familiar with this one. If you haven't, maybe we can link it right here. Like Mario, Master Chief is somewhat limited in terms of platforms. While it's true that more recent Halo games have been made available for other systems, most are Microsoft exclusive. So there were a bunch of PlayStation nerds who suffered a distinct lack of Master Chief. Sonic, on the other hand, is found on a whole whack of different systems, from Game Boy Advance to PlayStation 4. The guy's everywhere. Number 6. Sonic has Chaos Emeralds. Chaos Emeralds are a huge part of the Sonic games, and give Sonic a huge advantage over Master Chief. These emeralds let Sonic use Chaos Control, which allows the user to manipulate space and time. So using this, Sonic could teleport, travel through time, and do all sorts of crap that Master Chief could only dream of. Is it OP? Sure, but it's definitely better than being slightly taller and stronger. Speaking of the Chaos Emeralds, number 5. He can go super. As powerful as Sonic normally is, he has the potential to get even more powerful. With the help of all seven Seven Chaos Emeralds, Sonic can turn all yellow and shiny, making him even faster, letting him fly, and making him basically invulnerable. Yeah, it's Dragon Ball Z. It's Dragon Ball Z. Master Chief, on the other hand, can't really do any of this. I mean, sometimes he finds a rocket launcher, which can be pretty strong, but like, no, Super Sonic takes the cake on this one. Number four, he has friends. Master Chief is pretty much a solo act in his games. I'm sure, he sometimes has other soldiers with him, or the Arbiter, and Cortana definitely has his back, but in general, it's just him against the world. Sonic, on the other hand, has a whole whack of powerful and unique friends keeping him company. This gives him moral support, lets him call upon powerful allies at times, and just makes the games more in-depth and versatile. Not to mention, they allow for more interesting stories. His friends rock, except Big. Big can rub a monkey's tummy with his head. Number 3. More TV shows Sonic has a bunch of TV shows dating back decades, which gives fans tons to watch if the feeling takes them. Sadly, Halo doesn't have quite so diverse a pool. I'm sure there's Forward Unto Dawn and I suppose Red vs. Blue, but we don't have nearly enough Halo in TV or film. There was supposed to be a movie directed by Neil Blomkamp, which would have been awesome, but it got canned. So Sonic wins on this front. Number 2. Sonic is suitable for all ages. Here's one that might be a bit controversial. Halo games aren't exactly aimed at kids. There's a lot of killing and murder and even a few adultish themes between Chief and Cortana. Sonic, on the other hand, is super child friendly. I mean, some of the fan creations are far from kid friendly, but the games and comics are definitely good for everyone. I know some people might say that Halo's more adult elements make it even cooler, and in a way I agree, but it's definitely nice that Sonic can be enjoyed by everyone young and old. Number 1. More diverse games. Halo games, excluding the odd outlier like Halo Wars, are pretty much all first person shooters. If you like shooters, that's great, but if not, you probably won't like Halo so much. Sonic's a little different. It's true that a lot of his games are platformers, but there are a bunch of other kinds of games. There's Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing, Sonic the Fighters, the Mario and Sonic Olympic Games, or even spin-off games like the Tales and Shadow games. Sonic has something for everyone. And that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please smack that thumbs up button and subscribe to Top 10 Gaming for more videos. Who do you think is better? Let me know in the comments down below. Or heck, you can just say both. They're both pretty darn great.
Until next time, I'm Ron McKenzie-Lafergie with Top 10 Gaming. Later, gamers.